Hi, my name is Jessica, and this presentation is on multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis, also called MDR-TB. In this presentation, I'll tell you about multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis, what it is, where it's most prevalent, why it occurs, and if and how it can be treated. Now that we know what this presentation is about, let me tell you about the symptoms. Many patients describe feelings of sickness or being very weak, losing weight, having a fever and night sweats, coughing, chest pain, as well as coughing up blood. Tuberculosis mainly affects the lungs, but it can also affect other parts of the body, like the brain and spine. Now before I tell you about what drug-resistant tuberculosis is, let me tell you about non-resistant tuberculosis. It's a disease that's caused by bacteria, and it's spread from person to person through the air. Tuberculosis usually affects the lungs, but it can affect other parts of the body, such as the brain, the kidneys, and the spine. In most cases, tuberculosis is treatable and curable. However, if a person with tuberculosis does not get treatment, it can be fatal. Now that I've explained what non-drug resistant tuberculosis is, let me tell you about multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. It's caused by the same bacteria that causes the non-drug resistant tuberculosis, but this bacteria has become resistant to the two most potent drugs that are used to treat all persons with tuberculosis. Now you might be wondering how drug resistance can happen. Well, it can happen from a few different ways. One is when, when the drugs are misused or mismanaged, if patients don't complete their full course of treatment. Another is if a healthcare provider prescribes the wrong treatment, the wrong dose, or the wrong length of time for taking the drugs. And lastly, if the supply of drugs is not always available or if the drugs are of poor quality. Now that you know what drug-resistant tuberculosis is and how it becomes drug-resistant, let me tell you about who is at risk for getting multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis. It's most common in people who don't take their tuberculosis medicine regularly, who don't take all of them, their medicine as they were told to by their doctor, who develop tuberculosis again after having taken the medicine in the past, or come from areas of the world where drug resistance is most common. Also, if they've spent time with someone who is known to have the drug-resistant tuberculosis disease. Multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis and non-drug-resistant tuberculosis are spread the same way. They're spread through the air when a person with tuberculosis of the lungs coughs, sneezes, speaks, or sings. These bacteria float in the air for several hours depending on the environment. People who breathe in the contaminated air can become infected with tuberculosis. Now that I've explained what multi-drug resistant tuberculosis is, you might be wondering where in the world it's most common. It is a global disease, but the countries that are most affected are the Russian Federation, South Africa, and India. China and Brazil closely follow. According to the World Health Organization, about 3.7% of new tuberculosis patients in the world have a multi-drug resistant strain. There is treatment for multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. However, it is not the same treatment that non-drug resistant tuberculosis patients use. The first treatment can take 9 to 12 months and is much less expensive than the conventional treatment, which can take up to two years. Patients with resistance to the second-line anti-tuberculosis drugs cannot use this regimen and need to be put on a longer multi-drug resistant tuberculosis regimen to which one of two new drugs may be added. Worldwide, according to the World Health Organization, only 52% of multi-drug resistant patients and 28% of non-drug resistant patients are currently successfully treated. If you look at the picture on the left, you can see three cross sections of a human lung. 
The lung on the left is a patient that is in the early stages of tuberculosis. The one in the middle is a slightly later stage, and the one on the far right is a multi-drug resistant tuberculosis patient or a tuberculosis patient that has not been successfully treated. To conclude, multi-drug resistant tuberculosis is a disease that can affect the global population. However, there is hope because it can be treated with proper medical care.